finally got both the swaps pretty well buttoned up. I'm not sure everyone's going to agree, but I decided to go a little different with the wheels. Painted them green and got a, a bumper here. My, my brother-in-law actually built it for me, so I can't take credit for that. But it turned out really nice. Did end up having to cut that slot right there in the front above the light bar to get the rest of the intercooler exposed that made a huge difference with just the bumper on and that blocked off it probably I think I saw maybe at most up to 30 degrees uh, hotter intake air temps watching those on my ultra gauge and yeah just cutting that hole there um, dropped it back. I think I'm still maybe 10 degrees hotter than I was with the bumper off, but that's kind of to be expected with how much of the radiator and everything these full bumpers cover. So, anyways, um, the Wrangler's still, still ticking along. I am going to get a bigger intercooler for it. That one is just too small. And those, these grooves are so wide, or the, the bars going up and down are so wide, they're blocking off a good percentage of the already small intercooler. So, going to work on that. I'm actually toying around with throwing a mechanical pump on it just for fun and see how that works. So we'll see because I got to get a turbo lined up for it then as well and go all mechanical on it. But I haven't decided 100% yet what I want to do. But at least for now, they're both on the road and the Toyota is getting even better mileage like I expected with how much smaller it is. I don't think I, I haven't seen below 26 miles a gallon and that's with quite a bit of wind. You can probably hear it in the camera. It's pretty windy here about all the time, but that's what makes turbo diesels shine so much around here. So anyways, I think that's about it.